In this video, I'm going to show you how to copy and paste data into visible cells only using VBA in Microsoft Excel. Now, if you're new to my channel, I have already created three videos on this topic in which I demonstrate how to copy and paste into visible cells only using different methods. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to do it using VBA. But if you want to watch my other three videos, the link for all three are available in the description box of this video. That said, without further ado, let's get started. So in order to perform this using VBA, first you have to have the developer available in the ribbon section of your Excel sheet. And if you don't know how to make the developer appear, here's how you can do it. You go to File first, then you go to Options. You click on Customize Ribbon. You make sure this checkbox next to Developer is checked. As you can see, it's checked in mine. That's why Developer is appearing. And after you do that, you just have to click on OK. Now that the Developer is appearing in your ribbon, you need to go to Visual Basic and create a new module. And to create a new module, you just right click and go to Insert and click on Module. As you can see, I already have the module available in mine under the module section, and I have the code copy and pasted in mine as well. So this is VBA code you need to use, and this code is available in the description box of this video. Now I will be explaining in detail how this code works towards the end of this video. So if you want to know exactly how this code works, make sure you stick around towards the end. But just to give you a brief explanation, I'm gonna be copying from sheet one, ranges A2 through A15, into the visible cells of sheet two, ranges B2 to B15. These two lines over here are what you need to customize. So you need to have your source sheet, in my case is sheet one, and my range is A2 through A15, and my destination sheet is sheet two, and my destination range is B2 through B15. So this is the part you will need to customize based on the source range and the destination range in which you're copying into. That said, after you do that, just save and X out of this. As you can see, in my source range, which is located in sheet one, I have data located in cells A2 through A15. And in my destination range, I have data located in cells B2 through B15. And my destination range is a different worksheet, in this case, sheet two. I'm gonna go ahead and hide some rows in sheet two. So I'm gonna hide rows five through 10, for example, and I'm gonna click on hide. So I want to be able to copy and paste from this range into this range, and I want the hidden cells to remain intact. In other words, the hidden cells will still show the character A, and only the visible cells are the ones in which this data will be pasted into. And now that we've entered the VBA code, all we have to do is to execute this VBA code. And we do that by going again into the ribbon, into the developer section, and we click on macros, and we execute the code, which is in this case called copy to visible cells. And I click on run. This has been executed successfully. And now let's go into sheet two and see what happened. So as you can see, this range has been copied and pasted from sheet one, which is the source range, into the destination range successfully. And the data has been uh, pasted there successfully. However, we only wanted to copy and paste into the visible cells. Now let's see if that's happened or not. So let's unhide the rows which we originally hit. So click on unhide, and there you go. As you can see, all the rows which were hidden have not been impacted by this copy and paste. In other words, the only cells in which the data has been pasted into are the visible cells. Now let's test this one more time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the alphabets in here again. So I'm going to put A in, in the entire range as it was before. Let's uh, run this again. And this time I'm not going to hide anything. Let's see what happens. So I'm gonna go into the source sheet. And again, I'm gonna go to developer macros and I'm going to run the VBA code again. Let's see what happens 
now that we didn't hide any rows. I'm gonna click on run and then I will go to the destination sheet, which is sheet two. As you can see right now, everything has been copied and pasted. And that's because we didn't hide anything. Now let's just test this one more time to make sure it's working correctly. So I'm gonna put A in the full range again. And it doesn't have to be A, it could be anything else. This is just what I'm putting in for the sake of the example. Uh, now I'm gonna hide a different range. Say I'm gonna hide rows eight to 13. I'm gonna hide this. Now let's run the VBA code again. I'm gonna go to developer macros and we're gonna click on run and we'll go to the destination sheet. So you can see it's been copied and pasted successfully. Now let's go to the hidden range. Let's see what happened to those. As you can see, the hidden range has remained intact and the values have been only pasted into the visible cells. And that's exactly what we wanted. Now that I've explained how this works, I'm going to explain the code in a little bit more detail. But before we do that, if you appreciate the information, it would mean a lot to me if you hit the like button or the subscribe button. That's all I ask from you. And as a thank you for doing that, I will reply to all comments on this video. So now let's go to Visual Basics. Now I'm going to give you a brief description of how this code exactly works. So let's break down the code you can see on the screen. First, we tell Excel where our data is coming from and where it should go. So we have a source range right over here, which is like our starting block of data. And we also have a destination range where we want to put the data. This section over here, I already explained. So here we have our source sheet and source range, which you will need to customize based on what your source sheet and what your source range are. And also on the next line, we have our destination sheet and our destination range, which is something you will also need to customize. Let's move on to the magic loop. When we use a loop, we go through each cell in our destination range one by one. Think of this like checking each mailbox in an apartment building to see if it's open or not. Next, we have a visibility check. As we visit each cell, we check if it's actually visible, meaning it's not hidden by any filters or any manual hidings in Excel. If a cell is hiding behind a curtain, we skip it. Then we copy the data. For every cell that is visible, we take the corresponding data from our starting block and we put it right in there. And finally, we avoid any overstepping. We keep doing this until we've either filled all the visible cells or run out of data to copy. And that's it. This code helps you avoid accidentally putting data into hidden parts of your spreadsheet, ensuring everything is neat and exactly where you want to see it. And that's how it works. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed already, make sure to subscribe and also turn on notifications so you won't miss out on my future videos.